Hello and welcome. Today tutorial I'll teach you how to reset Windows 7 password if you don't have a password reset disk or the Windows 7 installation disk. Now you may notice I am recording in VMware workstation as it is easier to capture the resets and boot processes and it would be much more difficult on the physical machine. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is download Ubuntu. So we'll start by opening up Internet Explorer and searching for Ubuntu. Click download. Ubuntu desktop and we'll select the first one in the list. Now Ubuntu is free so unless you're generous and feel like making a donation we can slide all these bars over to the left until this equals zero. Scroll to the bottom and select download. Windows will prompt you with a bar, click it and download file. You'll get a box that pops up asking you where you'd like to save your file. So we'll save it to the desktop just to make it easy. So once this file is downloaded you'll have to burn it to a DVD to make Ubuntu Live CD that we can boot off of. Since this has already been downloaded on my end I will cancel this. You can select your favorite downloading software wait for it to load after this is loaded what we'll do is we'll burn an image select the file on the desktop that we just saved Ubuntu and burn it with this button here but since I've, I, I'm running in virtual machine I will simulate uh, putting the CD in the disk uh, disk drive by uh, just setting these options here I select the Ubuntu that I downloaded and click OK we'll log off in your case you can just go straight to restarting your computer as long as your DVD is in. I'm re I'm logging off just to show you what we're doing. Now my account is DEFCON and yes I do know the password but let's pretend I don't. Okay. Windows 7 has a program down here at the bottom left called Ease of Access. What this does is it magnifies words. Um, it will speak words that are on a in a sentence like say DEFCON or whatever if you highlight it pop up a virtual keyboard if you know if I uh, visually impaired or if it's easier for you to access I'll just show you some of the uh, the options so stuff like this um, this is the program that we are going to uh, manipulate to get our password back so now that I've simulated my CD in the drive I can go ahead power off the system and power it back on. <clears throat> the computer now will boot off the Ubuntu Live CD. Since Ubuntu is on a live CD, there is no need to install the operating system and we can run it directly from the disk. So we'll wait for Ubuntu to load. Select Try Ubuntu, and the operating system will now load. Once the operating system is loaded, you'll notice that the taskbar is now at the top instead of the bottom like Windows is. On the taskbar, there's a place called Places. Click that, and select the hard drive that your Windows is installed on. So in my case, it's a 17 gig file system here. By clicking that, it will automatically mount it to Ubuntu and pop up this window. In the window, we want to select Windows and then System32. 
But instead of searching through the bunch of files, we can just go straight to the keyboard and type it in. There it is here. We'll click that file. Now, there is a whole lot of files in the System32 folder, so it may take a while to load. Once the files have loaded in here, we will search for a file called utilmin. Utilmin is the file, or sorry, the program that runs at System uh, Ease of Access program. So, utilmin. We will rename this to utilmin1. We will also search for a file called cmd which is Windows Command Prompt. We will copy this file and paste it back into the folder. Now, taking the copied file, we'll rename it to utilmin. Close the window once you're done and we'll power off the system. Shut down. At this point, you can remove the CD. I'll again simulate removing the CD. And press enter. I can now power back on the Windows 7 machine. Once Windows is booted, we can go back to that program, Ease of Access, click it, and we are now presented with a command prompt. In the command prompt, we will type net user, then the username that you want of the account that you want to change the password of. So in this case, DEFCON, and then the password that you want to change it to. So I'll change my password to Miller. Hit enter. Command completed successfully. Close this and enter the password that you've just created. Miller. You should now successfully be able to log into your Windows machine. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.